this asterisk means multiply. Now, if you're dealing with this on a calculator, be careful. Sometimes the negative sign and subtraction sign are dealt with differently. Here, we're using the order of operations, of course, and, and when we do that, we want to start with, with the parentheses, and the question is, are these two sides equal? So 5 times negative 10 is negative 50. Why? Because picture having five groups of negative 10. One, you know, here's one group of negative 10, here's another, here's another, and so forth. That's four and five. That's five groups of negative ten altogether. Negative fifty. And then well, we're gonna add negative two soon. I'll just rewrite that. We're gonna then we're gonna subtract this parentheses. That's negative seven, right? Think about having negative four chips or four negative somethings, and then three more. When you add them, you group them all up, and that's seven. So we'll subtract a negative seven, and then we're gonna add here, well, this is negative eleven times two. That's negative 22. Why? Because again, think of the groups. If we have two groups of negative 11, that's negative 22 altogether. Then we're going to add negative 1 and then multiply negative 1. Multiply 1, excuse me. So now I'm going to clear this up and we have room to continue. Notice that uh, multiplication's here, so we want to deal with that first. What is negative 1 times 1? Well, that's negative 1. So we're going to add a negative 1. And again, the reason why is because you have one group of negative 1, which is just negative 1. I'm going to rewrite the whole equation. Sometimes we don't want to do that because it seems tedious, and I understand. But we can really lose track. See, put that negative sign there, and then add in negative 22. Now we go from left to right. So this is, well, negative 50, and then two more negatives gives us negative 52. Rewrite the equation plus negative 22, plus negative 1. And we only have, again, subtraction and addition. And when that happens, you have two operations on the same level, we work from left to right. So negative 52 minus negative 7, that I'm going to rewrite as negative 52 plus 7. Again, subtracting a negative is the same thing as just adding. So I'll think about this in terms of addition. And then adding negative 22, and then adding negative 1. Here, negative 52 plus 7. We'll think about it. We're on a number line sitting here at negative 52. We want to hop up 7. Where's that going to land? Well, if I hop up, up 2, at least we need negative 50. And then hop on up 5 more, negative 45. So it's negative 45 plus negative 22 plus negative 1. So here, negative 45 plus negative 22, that's going to lead us back, right? Because we're at negative 45, we want to add a negative, so that means we go negative 22 this way. And where will that land us? Well, that lands us at negative 66, right? That's 22 further, negative 67, sorry, 22 further away. Um, I just thought of 40 plus 20 is 60, 45 plus 20, 65, 45 plus 22, is, is 67, so negative 45 plus negative 22 is negative 67, and then plus a negative 1, which gives us negative 68. Alright, hope that helped.